Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon and uh, Pisces Rising monthly tarot reading for July 2019 and uh, bear with me a second guys to shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we can jump straight away to the spread Alright, so the first card which represents the topic for the Pisces month, that is going to be um, the Four of Wands, followed by the second one which stands for the peripheral activities that Pisces can go for. This is going to be the Ace of Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have the challenges that Pisces are to overcome throughout the month. Uh, this is going to be the uh, Three of Swords and now in these three cards as the Three of Swords comes up into that position the peripheral activities are not going to be that less important all right actually they're going to be quite important here as, uh, they're going to be yeah, quite important um, as a difference to the to the rest of the star signs here so we are seeing a, a phenomenon into the spread where Conditional card, it's probably one of the most important cards into the reading, right? <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, then uh, after these, after the Tree of uh, Swords here, which is the challenge, we do have the positive aspect of the month, which is the Nine of Swords. And then the last card that we have here, which stands for the Guidance, that is going to be the Moon card. And it seems completely, completely fitted into the reading that comes into a, a guidance position. All right, once again, let's go through the cards. Four of Wands is the first one, which stands for the topic, followed by the second one, which is the Ace of Pentacles, that stands for the uh, peripheral activities. Very, very important moment is what we have here. Afterwards, uh, it is uh, the challenges that is going to be the Tree of Swords. Furthermore, uh, we do have the Nine of Swords, which stands for the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the Moon card, which is the Guidance. These two here, the Ace of Pentacles and the Moon, very important positions. So what this reading is tells us is that um, you are going to have a conclusion throughout, uh, throughout the month. A, con a conclusion of a, a very important thing you know that you're trying to conclude one way or another now the thing is that the, the conclusion is not going to be as you have expecting it to be all right i'm not saying that it's going to be bad all right a bad conclusion or a bad uh development a bad fin finalization of a thing all right but it's not going to be the 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 final the finalization or the conclusion like i said that you have expected so the conclusion is described here with the Four of Wands, which stands for a, a finalizing an important cycle of life, right? Important cycle where afterwards you have to decide how to move on forward with it, usually bringing things into the next level. Like, uh, 
for example, dating with someone and this cycle of dating ends, all right? And now you have to move it into the next level, like moving to live, moving on together, um, moving in together, I'm sorry, or uh, engagement or a marriage, or you name it, you know, same thing goes for a, a career development, you know, you have finalized an important cycle in there, so there is nothing more that you can get from where you are right now, and you need to move on forward for a better job, for a better position, and etc, etc. Now with the four of ones, it's it's like, um, how can I describe it? it? It It's like it's a long-weighted, you know, breakthrough. Although this breakthrough is not going to be, like I said, as you have expected, and that is sewn into the next card, into the next cards. The accompanied one here is going to be the Page of Pentacles. So the formation it is the active neutrals that we do have, and... Um, well, how can I take on it? Well, with the Page of Pentacles here, uh, one of the reasons why you may not be very happy with the unfoldment is because it may require more um, investments or more efforts at your end in order to proceed on forward with it. And that could be the very big reason, you know, why you haven't expected it to be. So, um, <clears throat> for example, you want to expand your business, all right, and finally you do it and it turns out that it's most costly than you have anticipated, but yet it expands, all right? So it's neither good or bad, it's just something different. This is what I'm trying to say here. Same thing goes about relationship. You want to be with a specific person. You are imagining fairy tale. You know, a a, a situation full of love. This kind of stuff. And uh, <clears throat> when you finally end up together, you find out that it's not like this. All right. I'm not saying that it's going to be bad. It's just going to be. A, a different thing that you have anticipated. And that, uh, as looking at the other cards, it seems that is going to rather shock you, at least at the start. And it will be imperative that you sober yourself from the shock as fast as possible. Now, the next card here, Pisces, which is the peripheral activity, is a very important thing, especially for those who are highly dissatisfied of the conclusion, is that aside from that conclusion, something else is going to also be developed big time. As a matter of fact, that something else, which is aside from the grand team here, of course, is going to be much smaller right now, but with a potential to grow even beyond it right, is going to be, like I said, develop, you're going to have that opportunity to further your goal there. Just to give you an example, you know, you are, um, you have been um, more focused upon your relationship life. And, you know, you have placed your career to just go by with the flow. And uh, as we follow here, the example where you finally get to be with this person and you find out that it is nothing what you have imagined, not necessarily bad, but just different, you know, and suddenly, simultaneously, your career takes off, you're gonna, you are given an opportunity to proceed on forward with your career to get promoted, you know, or, or to get raised, and etc, etc. And so you do have a, a different thing to work on. So you can compensate, you know, your disappointment, although it's not going to be the topic of the month, you still are going to be more focused upon this conclusion that we do have here. The accompanied card is going to be the death and the formation it is a passive friends. And that is going to be a game changer that we do have. I mean, it's, it's truly going to give you the... Um, the necessary means to provoke a big change into your life, but not this month, all right? This month is just, it, it is how it, it is forming itself. If I may express it, that is a clue here that the circumstances are gonna change in your favor big time. We do have the death card, which signifies, you know, change. It signifies substitution. So if it does, point to your career, uh, we definitely, if you are following that example with the relationship and simultaneously a breakthrough in the career, that breakthrough definitely is about a promotion opportunity that we do have here. It's because it does point that your career is going to change for the better. You do have the opportunity to make a difference and to substitute your current position for another position. It could be as well a new job, you know, who knows. But the thing is that it's going to be in such an initial state 
throughout the months of July that is not going to be as important as uh, the um, as the conclusion that you are going to have for the time being. But it's going to be it's going to start snowballing here, and uh, who knows in the month of August or in the month of September it could be as twice as important as the conclusion that you had two months ago, meaning in the month of uh, July. So this uh, leads us to the next card, which stands for the challenges, and that is going to be the Tree of uh, Swords. And the only thing that this card points here is to overcome the disappointment. And I would say the pain. Disappointment is very milder, to say the least. It's more going to be like a, a pain that you don't have it the way you, you, you're um, imagining it to be, all right? Um, and most likely, those who are around you ain't going to make it any, any more easier for you. Uh, so if it is about the relationship, probably this card signifies as well a, a circle of friends which are, going to, uh, which are going to corner you with this, I told you so, you know. So they are not going to, uh, by any means, let's say, uh, boost your confidence or make you feel any better. As a matter of fact, I'm going to make... That's that blade which cuts to the bone of the fact, you know, that you don't have it the way you have imagining it, to have it even more sharper. I'm, I'm sorry for my expression if it doesn't make much sense, you know, but I can't find a better words to um, describe it. You know, so it could be that, uh, for example, you are finally with this person before when you are just flirting with each other, a couple of friends of yours, told you or constantly were, were repeating to you, do not mess up with that guy or do not mess up with this woman, they are not for you. And finally you end up with them, you know, and you divulge that you, it's not exactly how you have imagining it to be. And they tell you, I told you, so I told you not to do it. You know what you're going to do right now. I mean, they may dramatize the situation, which is going to make uh, which is going to inflict even bigger doubts and bigger pain upon the situation. And that is so, something that you have to totally, uh, totally overcome by completely ignoring them. Uh, the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, Nine of Cups. <clears throat> the formation, it is a... Uh, active neutrals that we do have. And actually, this is a uh, another hint how you can overcome it. So, what is done is done. Okay, and instead of focusing here on what you could have done to get it better, you have to focus on what you have to work with and to make the most out of it. Because with the Nine of Cups here falling as a neutral to the Tree of Swords, you definitely have such an option to make the most out of what you can work with at this certain moment of the month of July. So yeah, it's um, actions will speak louder than words in, the, in this case. So uh, do not pity yourself or commiserate upon yourself. Do not... Um, kind of like fall into desperation, there is definitely a way how you can improve significantly that situation which appears as a, um, as a, a bit of a disappointment, not because it's bad or good, but because it's different. So the next one is going to be about the positive aspect of the month, and we do have the Nine of Swords. Positively, um, <clears throat> when the conclusion happens, actually is going to allow you to address a lot of issues that are uh, lingering up until that moment, addressing in a sense, recognizing what is causing them, okay? And uh, from there also you are to recognize the seriousness of the situation, not in a bad way, that is, you know, but in a, um, how can I say it, in a productive way. So in other words, to recognize uh, how much, um, how best, to benefit of such a reason situation. And additionally to that with the Nine of Swords, that uh, this situation itself, it could make you a little bit more braver, you know, to take an action upon endeavors or a, a plight, you know, or in an issues that up until that moment, you hope that you don't have to go that way or, or, or attend to them at all. The accompanied card it here, it is the Seven of, uh, the seven of Pentacles, Formation, it is a active enemies that we do have. And with the Seven of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles is actually a, a bit of a um, 
despondent card because sometimes it may uh, signify ruin. So the way how I see those things is that these two cards is additionally to what I said for the Nine of Swords. You are to recognize how that how that um, unexpected turn of events can ruin your life, and by recognizing that, preventing it. Right. So it's about avoidance of a big crisis, recognizing how the crisis could arise and making what is necessary to uh, to prevent it. And finally, what we do have for you guys, that is going to be the guidance. And we do have the moon card. So I want to start from afar with the moon card here. So the moon card in a guidance uh, position and even in a prime position is very similar to the Hierophant. Now, the both cards are saying that what is happening, it is supposed to happen, okay? But with the Hierophant card, because it's more pure energy of, um, of, the, of the Fool's journey, it gives you the reason why. And that's why you are feeling more confident, you know, you're feeling more convinced as well, and you're feeling like you are in the right place. While with the Moon card, the reasons behind why this is happening are stay shrouded in mist, shrouded in mystery, in vagueness. And this kind of like provokes a lot of uh, a lot of emotions of disappointment, like we saw before beforehand here, uh, as a, a, um, a sense of insecurity as well, you know, a sense of as well, for some it could be so drastic that it could go to a, a, a standpoint of fantasies of the doom and gloom and like believing that their whole life is, is kind of like like falling down while it's this isn't what is happening okay so the moon card as a guidance uh, here urges you or rather like advises you not to bail on your decision about the conclusion itself or rather like not to bear one of the result of the conclusion it was supposed to happen and is gonna lead you where you are supposed to be like the path that is here uh, that is go that goes beyond the summit you don't know you don't see and you don't know where that path leads but it is the one that you need to walk on okay the accompanied card here is going to be the empress and the formation it is a, a passive friends that we do have so definitely we can say now that this path leads to a very cozy and comfortable um comfortable standpoint so even if this for example relationship that you recently started i'm just saying for example you know it's not what you have imagining to be you know it will be stable lovely you know and full of of trust let's say it's gonna be a dream relationship in its own way and you're gonna get the hang of it so it's all about adaptation it's all about adapting yourself to the situation making the most out of it and recognizing it that even though different it still can be what you want right same thing goes in regards to a, a career wise and with the empress here to the moon it is definitely uh, you are walking toward a place that you are definitely belonging all right and uh, yeah it's uh, it's a big uh, it is rather a, a big month for you pisces where even though a bit surprising even though for some of you a bit despondent as well as a result it is the result that uh, you deserve in a good way right and uh, at the end is going to lead you to a place where you are going to be grateful for the opportunity you had to be there. So that being said, guys, this was your uh, monthly tarot reading for uh, July 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.